Hi, my name is Lexi. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, I have a lot to share today. So I have been doing alternate day fasting now for eight months. As of May 17th, 2020, I started on September 17th of last year, 2019. I started out at 209 pounds. I am five foot 11. And as of last Friday, I was 176. So that is one pound from my personal goal, which is 175. And that is crazy that I'm so close. So the previous week, as I had said in my last video, I was at 178.1. And that was after um, getting back on track after having um, having skipped a fasting day. So yeah, I had just gotten back down after that. And this past week was different though. I just want to tell you that it was a little bit different than my normal schedule, which I usually weigh in on a Saturday and that's what I would report. But I did Friday this time because I was traveling this past weekend we were um, on a road trip with my family, with my kids. We went up to Idaho, which is kind of a family tradition for Memorial Day, because that is where my husband's father is buried. Um, so what I did was I, instead of fasting Monday, Wednesday, Friday, which is my usual thing, I didn't want to skip a fasting day this time just because I had done it a couple weeks before and I just felt better about not skipping it. So what I did was I fasted on Wednesday and Thursday together. So it was a longer fast. I did, it was a 61 and a half hours. Um, so I did that because I didn't want to skip the fasting day, but also because I just kind of wanted to try a longer fast again. It had been a long time since I'd done a longer fast. Back around Thanksgiving, I did a 70 hour fast. And there are some act, like added benefits to doing longer fasts. I don't do them very often because, you know, they are more challenging. And for me, I kind of feel like it's just not necessary for me to do them all the time. But but I just wanted to last week. So, so my weigh-in, my 176, was after that two-day fast. So it is very possible that this next weigh-in, which will be this week that I'm in right now, will be um, a little higher. Like I kind of anticipate that because that was a big drop from my lowest low. Um, so that's kind of how it usually goes is when I hit a new low, like it, it sort of just like fluctuates a little bit. So totally expecting that and that's fine. But still like to have achieved that number, I guess, um, and to only be a pound away from, from hitting that goal is crazy. Um, and today, since I've been fasting for eight months now, I kind of, I kind of wanted to share my story about why I chose alternate day fasting and how I kind of landed in this place and share that story with um, intermittent fasting and just the different things that I tried and how I ended up here. So I first learned about intermittent fasting when I was doing keto, probably around 2017 was when I first started learning about fasting. Um, a lot of people, if you're familiar with keto at all, you would know that a lot of people who do keto also fast. It's pretty common to see a lot of, you know, fasting and keto go together. Um, so I was probably experimenting with like a 16-8, fasting for 16 hours, eating for eight hours. That would be what I would do when I was doing keto. I was really off and on with keto for a long time, for about two years, I was kind of off and on with it. Um, I might do another video about that, but anyway, so I experimented with fasting a little bit while I was on and off with keto. I was going on a trip to Disney World in 2019 with my family. And uh, about a month before I was like, okay, I need to lose some weight before I go to Disney World because I know I'm gonna gain weight while I'm there. And in my head, I was like, at least if I lose some, I won't have gained as much, you know, the diet logic. 
And so I started doing keto again, was really strict about it. And then about 10 uh, ish days before I left, probably two weeks before I left, I decided to try doing OMAD with keto. So I did OMAD for 10 days and then I did a two day fast. So just like this past week, I did a two day fast and from the 10 days of OMAD and that two day fast, I lost, I think about 12 pounds. So I think I was around 200 when I started and then I got down to 188. So I was like, yay, that's awesome. And I was like, so ready to go on my vacation. And I went with my family and uh, it was just the worst idea ever. Because first of all, when you do a lot of fasting, your digestive system is very sensitive and you don't wanna be eating a lot of terrible food, which is what I was doing all week long that I was there was eating terrible food that was really delicious, but very, you know, just not good for you. I felt sick a few times on that trip. And when I came back, uh, my sister was actually staying at my house. She was watching our youngest child. And um, so she and I, I didn't start, I didn't weigh myself right away cause like she was leaving a few days later. So we like went out to dinner and stuff. And I can, like, when I look at the pictures of myself after the trip, when I went out with my sister versus like the first day of our vacation, I look so different. And it was only like 10 days, 10 days um, difference. But when my sister left, I weighed myself and I was 203 pounds. So I had gone from 188 to 203 in the space of like 10 days. And uh, I was kind of devastated and really, you know, frustrated. And honestly, like had I gotten back into the groove right away, I think that weight would have come off quickly. But I was just really, I don't know. I was just frustrated and I wanted at that moment, I decided that I was going to try to figure out how to fast um, to, you know, play with my fasting windows without changing my diet because I felt like going on a strict diet and then all these times when I would like go off of it, I would gain a ton of weight and just feel terrible. And I didn't want to keep going through that cycle. So I just decided to try and figure that out. Now I had been watching a lot of videos from Kayla at Six Miles to Supper. I've mentioned her channel before just really love her videos and her personality and she did OMAD six days a week and then had like a cheat day on Sundays where she wouldn't fast and um, she had lost 80 pounds doing that and so I was kind of like okay that's gonna be what it's what's gonna work for me because she also like never restricted any foods or anything she also walked six miles a day which is how her channel got her name I wasn't planning on doing that, but I, I was committed to exercising. I, I had been exercising fairly regularly and stuff, but, um, yeah, so that was kind of my plan and what I thought was going to work for me was OMAD with maybe like, um, a little variation on the weekend. And so I started with that and I started just fasting till dinner time and I was, dinner was going to be my one meal of the day. And I just found it difficult. I don't know. I found that it was hard every day to make it to dinner and that I was really just focused on that meal and I was anticipating it all day. And then when I got to that point, I would, you know, try to cram it all in and I would eat too much and I wouldn't feel good and stuff. And so I, I just felt like dinner wasn't really working for me. So I decided to try doing lunch and I did lunch for a while and honestly like that worked physically I felt like it was easy to make it to lunch and I didn't feel hungry afterwards so that was easy but I never got to eat with my family I was just always eating leftovers I never got to eat anything when it was you know prepared fresh or whatever and I just didn't really like that either so then I kind of started saying okay maybe I'll do two meals a day on some days and one meal on some days so I was like doing that and 
it just got kind of confusing and it sort of morphed into two meals a day every day which was easy for me to do like I felt like it was totally easy to do that but I was gaining weight like steadily gaining weight and so I, I just knew that I had to figure out something else and this just wasn't going to work for me and I I was seeing myself like you know steadily gaining weight and that my set weight was gonna just keep going up and up and so I was really just frustrated didn't know what to do on YouTube Sumaya Kazi's interview with the Today Show popped up I watched it she had talked about how she lost 50 pounds doing um, the 4-3 diet which is what I'm doing now and it just clicked with me like that is something I need to try like she is a woman you get to eat on Saturday and Sunday like and then fasting it just kind of like sounded like something that I could do but it, it did sound really hard so I was just at the point where I needed to do something I just needed to do something so I told myself you know I'll do this for a month and as long as I feel good, as far as like physically good, then I'll just keep going with it. So, you know, I knew, I thought it was gonna be super duper hard, but I just had to do something, right? And so I started on September 17th, 2019. I was at 209 pounds, which is the highest I had ever weighed outside of being pregnant or postpartum. And, um, yeah, I just, I did it and it was tough for the first couple of weeks. Um, but honestly, it was so much easier than I thought it would be. And I think part of it is just because I could, it's like, it's like with my personality, I feel like maybe I'm an all or nothing type of person. So like the all would be my eating days and the nothing is my fasting days. And I just, I get to sleep and then reset and switch gears. And I just, it works for me. And there may be a time that I go back to trying OMAD. I think I would do it a different way. Um, but I think it's just my personality that for some reason this works better for me, at least for right now. I don't expect to do alternate day fasting forever. This is a tool that I'm using for weight loss and to improve some things with my health and my relationship with food but um yeah i have some ideas for maintenance and i'll definitely do another video about that coming up soon because it is it's coming soon and honestly maintenance in a way <laughs> scares me more than weight loss because i've never been in maintenance before um i've always either been gaining or losing weight and nothing in between so yeah, it's it's been a crazy ride, but uh, I just wanted to share that kind of journey of how I came to this point, and this is where I am now, and this is what's working for me right now, and um, I really hope that you can find what works for you, and if this is it, that's awesome, and I'd love to have you, you know, join me on this journey, and we can support each other, but I hope you're having a great week, and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks. Bye.